Good morning, folks. This is Naim Aslam, Chief Market Analyst at Eritrade, and welcome to our daily fundamental video. What we are looking in the equity markets today is again the reverse of that price movement because earlier today the US and the European futures were trading to the downside because traders were thinking that yes, these record highs is the opportunity for them to, to shave some profits off their trades or of the profits that they were made during this coronavirus stock market rally. But that optimism that the stock rally is likely to continue because of the um, unwavering support from central banks and that support is not only in the US but I'm speaking of the support around the globe because we have central banks over in the over in the United States over in the Eurozone in the UK in Japan and of course in China all supporting the stock market rally all coming out with sort of a pro, uh, policies that are helping to stimulate this economic recovery that we are seeing in the global economy. Now, because of that, we are seeing this reverse of momentum for the European markets and for the US futures and all of these uh, markets are trading once again in the, to, to the upside. Now, as you can see in the chart, the Dow Jones index, the, indus the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index has come to very, very close to its all-time high. Now, of course, as you can see, the futures are somewhat hesitating to break above that COVID-19, that high which was there before COVID-19. And that is perfectly normal to see that because whenever price approaches such a critical level, there is always some sort of a hesitation and that is what we're seeing. But the question is, what can really help the market to go beyond this all-time high for the Dow Jones Index. Well, today is Thursday and that means jobless claims data. Now, the forecast is for that jobless claims data to come just under a 1 million mark. Now, remember, last week we saw the data surge back above that 1 million mark. Now, if the number comes below the current forecast, that will really reaffirm this sentiment that yes, this gradual recovery for the US economy is gaining more momentum. The reason that I'm saying that is because yesterday we had the US ADP number. Of course, we didn't get that full employment what the market was anticipating because the market was ex expecting nearly a million job, uh, creation of another one million job, but what we had was just a shy of a half a million. But it reaffirmed this particular stance that yes, gradual recovery is there for the US market. And because of that, we see, we, we, we experienced a bounce for the dollar index from its lows. Of course, the bounce in the dollar index was a negative news for currencies such as the euro and sterling. Both of them experienced massive sell-off. Now, if today's initial jobless claim and the job, uh, continuing jobless claims reaffirm this message that yes, this gradual recovery is still very much in place, what do you think going to happen? Well, the likely outcome for that is that we may see the Dow Jones index breaking above its all-time high. Now, in terms of gold, the price is very much trading near its 50-day moving average. The battle is on. Let's see who wins this, uh, whether the price will stay above that 50-day moving average or whether it breaks below that. But if you wanted to learn a little bit more about the gold price action, I've done a full technical analysis with respect to the focus on initial jobless claims. That's all for today, folks, and I'll see you guys next time.